Chef Chuck, it's me, Maya Chef Chuck, and welcome to another box makeover. Right now, I'm still organizing my caravans studio, and there's already a little bit less mess, but. Still there is. It will take time for me to have it organized. But anyways, I have this daisy box. And today we're going to have it in a more convenient and safe place for my needles. We're going to make a hedgehog. The needles will be inside, but outside no needles. Safety first. But anyways... I have this purple scarf. And I'm going to use some tinsel from it. Like the tassels from the tinsel for the hedgehog because it is kind of like spikes but it's not like you know not like a real hedgehog but anyways let's start with piercing it for a feature where the hedgehog can roll into a spike ball if it's closed. Okay, so I've started with piercing some areas in the box. And adding wire and buttons for the skeleton of the hedgehog that will help it have the joints. That's what skeletons do in our bodies. They can make us move. However, now I will have to cover it up with fabric. I'm going to cut that off and stitch it to give that wire skeleton a body like a hedgehog body. Okay, stitch those things on. I will have to keep on building up until it looks like a hedgehog body. However, this here needs stitched on. Before, I will stitch on the eyes and a nose. I've stitched on the fabric for the head of the hedgehog. Nice. I will figure things out. I was figuring it out and I thought that this should be where the hedgehog legs will be and the rest of the box would just be thread and tinsel hedgehog spikes all over and maybe a little bit of plastic ones so that's what we're going for I will just gradually add them in while figuring out things for it Okay, so I'm gluing them onto the box. 
I've even glued on wool. So the hedgehog could have more volume of the spikes and so the tinsel gets mixed into it without it being all tinsel tinsel can just work as an accent piece I was slowly but surely adding in the wool and the tinsel and I find this a really good way of adding in plastic pieces like reusing plastic if I get plastic strips I can always put it onto the hedgehog as a way of reusing that too it works and you're keeping it out of the landfill both of these sides win the hedgehog can stand on her own and if I do this with her head and tail she can just roll into a spike ball well as long as it's angled like this when I'm displaying the box I will now check with the lid and the needles inside just to make sure it's doing what it's supposed to it's safe and you know and nothing will get ruined in the process okay nice spike ball the plastic really makes it feel hedgehog like okay as long as it's angled like this we're good but not a full spike ball of a hedgehog but that's okay and now the transparent plastic spikes will get white acrylic paint with glue just dry brushed to finish it off okay so I'm just dry brushing white onto the areas that need to be white before I can add the fizzy sparkles all over it however it does require a drying time anyways so proceed with this question about what you need to do in order you can do another part that you want to do I've painted a different box that I will just use in a different episode that I hadn't figured out what the episode for it will be but there's the white paint however that will just well be left unfinished until that episode I come up with and it could be the next one I'm not going to say for sure just to keep the surprise factor up and running but you get the idea I 
I think it needs a little bit more white paint. So, just so everything is covered what needs to be covered. After the paint job is done, in every area, we need to let it dry and think about the sparkles that I'm going to put in it. The white paint has dried, now I will add this confetti glitter and I will add this pink glitter and this silver one for the sparkles but add mostly silver like a ratio to one the confetti to pink and let's say 10 silver so I will label it And we're going to mix it here. So, now two pieces of pink. And one dot of confetti. Just slightly add in confetti and a little bit more pink. I'm trying to make a fizzy hedgehog mixture and silver. Lots and lots of silver. enough mixture so now I will mix in ultimate craft acrylic glue to the mix so it stays on get a watercolor paintbrush because of glue, I always, always wash the brush after use. Now I mix, mix, mix everything. Until it's fully mixed into one glitter potion. And now, apply it on the hedgehog, like all over it. Oh. 
all glittered up. Time to let it dry. Everything dried. And that's the finished hedgehog. What do you think of it? Please tell me in the comments. And bye, Chef Jax. See you in another video. Bye.